Okay, good morning. Today is Thursday, 6th of December. Um, yeah, we're just leaving this great place here. It's a very nice lady that uh, owns this place. So that was nice to meet her yesterday. She's not here this morning, so uh, yeah, that's a shame. But uh, yeah, now we're on the road today. Have uh, a lady that owns this place. She's told us that the people that were here yesterday were normal cyclists. They cycle to a beach that's 111 kilometers from here. So we'll see if we can do that today. It's mainly on main roads, so it may be possible. We'll see. So uh, if not, we'll find somewhere else sooner. But uh, should be following the the river that uh, is the border between Myanmar and Thailand. So when I write today, we should have views of Myanmar most of the day today. So okay, yes, ready to go. Let's go. Oh, another nice morning here. It's 7:45, nice and early. Not so hot yet, so that's good. I should be on this road uh, all day today. It's a nice road, not too much traffic. Not too many restaurants on this stretch of road here. We managed to find a place here and explain to the ladies in there what we need. <laughs> I think we're getting some eggs and rice, I think. Hopefully making us some breakfast. Mm -hmm. So from having no food 15 minutes ago we now have a, a feast of a breakfast here. <laughs> She's been brought us some vegetables and sausages and now soup is turned up, rice, eggs, bread. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Bye bye. Bye bye. So nobody in there spoke any English at all. With a bit of sign language, pointing, Google Translate and smiling, managed to conjure up two breakfasts. Excellent. <laughs> We're ready to go. We're only done 25 kilometers we did before breakfast now. We can just carry on now. See how far we get. If we get to the beach or not. We'll see. And now our fuel tanks are full, so we should better get going now. So once again, very cheap. You just paid £2.40 for the breakfast there with tea, water, salad, rice, eggs, bread, sausages. So, yeah, it's not going to be easy to get used to being back in Europe. We have to pay that just for a bottle of water in some places. So, yeah, that's what it's like here. Very cheap to cycle through this part of the world. Entering a national park now. Should be a nice waterfall just around the corner. Let's see if we can find that. Take a short break there and have a look. Oh yeah, fun. Waterfall we're going to see now. And this is very easy, right at the side of the road here. So we don't have to walk anywhere. Perfect place for a break. Still the great thing about this trip that new things just happen that you never expected. New wonderful places just appear. Friends in Denmark had a birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Susanna. 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 Here we have Myanmar in the distance there behind the river. There's a river you can see there. I hope we can do 111 kilometers today. It's not going to be an easy 111 because it's very hilly today. 
I'm very, very hot. So I have to work today. Not as easy as the other days. Probably the most hilly day we've had in Thailand. Going through the town of Ranong here. So if you like cafe cycling and coffee shop cycling, then Thailand is a good choice. Oh, I could hold it so East Asia so far is a good choice. There's plenty of places to stop. Not like uh, Central Asia where we could go weeks without finding any place to buy a cup of coffee or real cappuccino. Here in the coffee shop they also have Christmas Santa Claus in the coffee shop. Strange to think when it's very hot out here and we need a cold drink. So it's very strange to see Santa Claus in the in the coffee shop. Oh, back on the road after lunch, 46 kilometers to do now, 167. So let's see if it's possible to get to the resort and the beach that the lady recommended. Depends on how the road is. It's been quite windy today as well, headwind, so quite a few things against us. But let's see if we can do it. What's going on here? Oh, what's the point in this? <laughs> yeah, so the cycle lane did end as they normally do. So, I'm not sure what the idea was that was, but uh, never mind. Maybe they use it for training. We have to get back on the road. And well, now we're doing uh, 81 kilometers. Now we've left uh, Myanmar, that's left behind now. That was on our right all day that we couldn't really see too much of it, but uh, now to our right is the coast, it's quite far away, it's a few 10 kilometers away, so we can't really see it, but uh, yeah, now we uh, only have Thailand around us, so about 30 kilometers to do, and then we should be on a nice sandy beach, let's see. I'm just going to pull off this road, we've been on it all day. So, amazing, we're just a normal road. Pretty nice and lush signal. Yeah, very great. Right, so we're heading now, Bang Ben Beach. Should be a place to stay there. actually owned by a man from Holland and he's married to a Thai lady he's lived here 25 years so uh, he's very nice to talk to so uh, great place so we're just on our way to the beach now see if we can do a little bit of swimming and see the beach before the sunset and you can see the sun is just about to go down
off the front. What a beautiful sight. I think it's very impressive that normal dogs you know in the home and home center, they just have free food and people would take care of them. But here, the dogs actually, what they actually can do is very challenging. That this dog over here, big crab just to smell where the crab is that is what i call impressive because the dogs not, not needs to actually can find their own food to survive and james with intelligent finds see you tomorrow This uh, community here, they're 95% Muslim here. We thought that when we came in, we saw a lot of mosques and uh, girls wearing uh, headscarves. And, uh, yeah, 95% Muslim here. They came from Malaysia 200 years ago. Oh, good place here. You can even eat here. Perfect. And the man's from Holland, so we even plays the Beatles. Okay, that was the end of today. Quite a, a long cycling day really, and a few hills and a bit of wind, and quite hot, but never mind, we made it anyway. So, uh, turned up in a nice place here with a man from Holland, so having a nice chat to him. He's been living here for many years, so uh, yeah, very good. His children have also grown up here, and uh, I think it's about 10 years ago he even went back to Holland, so yeah, great place. So, uh, yeah, I think tomorrow we'll be back on the bikes again, continue down the road towards uh, Kid. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, not sure how far we're going yet. I haven't found a place yet, but uh, we'll see how we go. So okay, see you on the bike again tomorrow.